Hi everyone, welcome to another uh, fun reading for the summer and today I am going to be talking about uh, the tale of the three pigs or in Spanish it's called El Cuento de los Tres Cerditos. If this is the first time you join us, my name is Barbara, I'm the owner and founder of Spanish for Kiddos um, and today is our little story about the pigs so let's go ahead and get started and I have a, a cute little exercise that you can do at the end with your kiddos as well. So, there are three little pigs that walk through the forest, then they stop. Hay tres pequeños cerditos, ellos caminan por el bosque, luego ellos paran. They think about building a house. One little pig begins to build, he builds a house of straw. Ellos piensan en construir una casa, un pequeño cerdito comienza a construir. Él construye una casa de paja. Then a big bad wolf blows the house down. The three little pigs are sad. Where will they live? Entonces un lobo grande y malo sopla y derrumbe la casa. Los tres pequeños cerditos están tristes. ¿Dónde vivirán? I will build a house made of wood, said one little pig. The two little pigs thank him. Yay, they cheered. Construiré una casa de madera, dijo un pequeño sordito. Los dos pequeños sorditos se lo agradecieron. Yay, ellos se alegraron. Just then the big bad wolf walked over. He said, I will blow this house down. Then the three little pigs shouted, please stop. But he blew the house away. En ese momento, el lobo grande y malo caminó cerca de ellos. Él dijo, soplaré esta casa. Entonces los tres cerditos, entonces los tres pequeños cerditos gritaron, por favor, para. Pero él derrumbó la casa. The next day, the three little pigs built a house made of bricks. Once again, the big bad wolf promised to blow down the house. He could not. El día siguiente, los tres pequeños cerditos construyeron una casa de ladrillos. Una vez más, el lobo grande y malo prometió derrumbir la casa. Él no lo pudo hacer. After that, the three little pigs are happy. They live safely in the house made of bricks. And where's the wolf? Después de eso, los tres pequeños cerditos están felices. Ellos viven con toda seguridad en la casa de ladrillos. ¿Y dónde está el lobo? So usually at the end of, of course, we would end the story here, but I think this is a good story because it's not only a classic, but it shows kids um, a little bit about social and emotional um, skills that they can practice. And one of this is, and unfortunately the wolf is not behaving properly, right? He's acting like a bully. So one of the things that I have here at the end that you can do is let's think about, let's reflect about what is happening to the wolf. Um, does he change? Does he recognize that he's probably not being a nice, a nice wolf, that he's bullying others? And one of the things you can say is that you decide what happens to the wolf. You end the story. So write a sentence about the wolf. Did he learn not to bully others? Did he change? So in Spanish is decide qué lo que le pasa al lobo. Escribe una oración acerca del lobo. Aprendió a no ser malo. El cambió. So you tell me, you tell me how you do that and then you can share with me um, how you wanted to end the story and how the wolf can actually uh, change and could be a good ending and depends on you how you want to end the story. Another cute exercise that I have here is um, a little matching of these words here that we've seen in the story and then you can go back and point those out. One of the things that I have is I using the same character here as you see in the story so in a lot of the um, if you go back to the story you can find where those characters are um, of course the pigs they have different emotional states and of course they'll have different personality as well just like kids and you want to match of course pig with cerdo and then of course you want to look for the wolf here is the wolf and the wolf is lobo 
And then of course there are different types of houses. The first one we see is the house of straw and you can point out that is casa. And then a happy state of the little pigs, for instance, such as here or when they are, I'm gonna put this here for a minute, when they are here as well. They are happy, they are feliz, or when they are sad, for instance, when the wolf uh, blows the house down, then that is triste. Okay, so you can do that simple exercise and actually go back to the book to, to see where those um, those uh, characters are to help you to help kids recognize where a lot of these words are as well. I hope you enjoyed this activity and you join me next time for another fun reading. And I love to know your feedback, so please let me know if you're uh, liking these summer readings. Take care. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye bye.